When cleaning plastics from our beaches, some natural material is also going to be captured. This makes it difficult for scientists who want to study marine debris trends and for people who want to repurpose these plastics. Seed.world saw this problem and created a solution, the trash time machine. We start by taking the mixture of material and place it into a vacuum chamber. A screen is placed on top to hold the material down and then water is added until everything is fully submerged. A pump is then used to pull the air out of the chamber and everything in it. Besides the air that is at the top, there is also dissolved air in the water and small amounts within the cells of the natural material. Think of those cells as thousands of tiny air bubbles that are helping the material float. The negative pressure from the vacuum pulls on the cell walls, making them expand until they pop. After a few minutes, the pressures return to the chamber while the natural material now separates to the bottom. Inside the chamber, we are drastically speeding up the amount of time it takes for the natural material to become waterlogged by forcing the air out and water in. Normally, when natural material is left in water, it takes a long time for its cells to break down, absorb that water, and then sink. Through this discovery and research, though, it is allowing us to remove, observe, and calculate microplastic particles that have never been studied before. By just using water, this modular process can be used by anyone and allows us to put the natural debris back on the beach where it belongs, and the plastics can then be repurposed. We encourage everyone to create their own system and to visit seed.world to learn more about how we can help give back time to our environment and future.